Hey y'all, welcome to Camara's Kitchen. Today we are making some golden fried catfish and we are pairing this with some spaghetti and meatballs. Now this may seem like a strange combination, but if you are from the South, okay, I know you know what it is. You didn't have this before. Now these recipes are easy and they are so flavor packed. First thing we're gonna do is start on the spaghetti because that is going to take the longest. Now I have a chopped up onion, I have four cloves of garlic, some Parmesan cheese, some olive oil, a dry red wine, and look, I know some of y'all will say it ain't homemade spaghetti if you using the jar. Okay, but let's be real. Y'all know y'all be using the jar sometimes, okay? So we're just gonna do it easy today and so that's what I'm going to be using. I have my seasonings here as well. This is for the spaghetti and the meatballs. Now something a little different about my seasonings is that I will be using a few cloves. They just add a nice warm flavor. I'm also putting some sugar. Okay y'all know sugar go in the spaghetti. A little bit of milk for the meatballs and I am using ground turkey and ground Italian sausage but you're welcome to use beef and sausage. I have removed about one third of the meat from each packet and I'm going to start on the sauce with them. I'm going to brown them for just about, you know, three, four minutes. Okay, get a little, get a little color on them. And then I'm gonna go in with my diced onion. I'm gonna sweat those onions for about three minutes because you don't want that raw onion taste. You know what I mean? You, you want it to be nice and tender, all right? I have my garlic that I'm putting in and then I'm gonna saute that for about one minute and then I'm going to start seasoning. Now this is going to elevate the flavor of your spaghetti. This is what's gonna make the jar seasoning taste better. Okay, see me y'all don't wanna do jar seasonings. That's because all y'all do is just warm it up. Y'all don't add nothing, okay? So I put in all my herbs, a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, and I'm gonna use some white pepper, but black pepper is totally fine. And Cezanne Tropical is pretty much like complete seasoning, so that would totally work too. And then I'm gonna mix these together and just toast them for about 30 seconds. Then I'm going in with a half of a cup of my dry red wine. I don't think this is optional because I think it adds a great flavor, but if you don't do alcohol, you are welcome to leave it out. And then I'm gonna put in my spaghetti sauce. Now I like to pair up the roasted garlic one with the prego marinara that has a little bit of a different flavor. I like that combination better, but I couldn't get that this time, so I ended up using both of the roasted garlic. And y'all know I ain't, I ain't leaving none of that behind. I didn't pay for all of it. So I, I'm taking about a cup and a half of water and I'm gonna swirl it around and I'm gonna put that in there. Then I'm gonna add my sugar. All right, the cooks know what it is. Okay, gonna balance that the city and the tomatoes, and I'm gonna put in a little bit of beef bouillon just to you know oomph up that flavor. I'm gonna let this simmer on low for one hour. For the meatballs, I have the rest of the meat, a teaspoon of the beef bouillon, a little bit of salt, and I'm going to repeat the same seasonings in the meatballs just in smaller quantities. Now, if you don't want to do turkey, you're also welcome to just do beef instead, but sometimes I like to lighten it up. I'm putting in my breadcrumbs, milk, my Parmesan cheese, and my egg, and first I'm going to mix together the wet ingredients right at the bottom, that's gonna help those breadcrumbs plump up so you can keep those meatballs nice and juicy, okay? And then I'm going to combine everything together. Now I will say if you decide to use the turkey, make sure you're using a 85, 15, something like that. That 99% uh, ground turkey ain't gonna work for that. It's gonna be way too dry. Baby, don't even do it. Don't even do it to your mouth. Don't do it to your throat, okay? Cause your throat gonna start, <coughs> you gonna start choking. Okay, don't do that. Um, so then I am going to pinch off about two tablespoons of the meat and I'm going to make my meatballs, all right? Once I have them all done, I'm gonna put them in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. I like to broil them at the end just for about one minute to get a little color on them because you know turkey can be a little light skin, all right? And I like my stuff brown, okay? Now after an hour of simmering on low, I'm gonna go in and add some olive oil just to silk in the sauce. It's not gonna make it greasy, but it's gonna give it a good flavor. Just about two tablespoons. Now y'all, I didn't even realize how dangerous tomato sauce was. When this sauce popped me, baby, I got burnt for real. Y'all better be careful. And I was doing it on low. I was so shocked. I said, these uh, red sauces is dangerous, honey. Mm. Then I went in with all of my meatballs and then I put this on low just so this could simmer while I'm going to do my noodles. And I know y'all know how to make noodles, but I just want to remind y'all, you better salt your water. 
okay? And you better put in a little chicken bouillon for some flavor. And cook them noodles according to them packing instructions. And you better not break them noodles. Mm -mm. You better push them down, okay? Now, I like to actually add my sauce to my noodles. I don't like putting the noodles in the sauce. So I'm just going to put a little bit on top of the noodles and then, you know, twirl around, make it fancy. And you know what, honey? We good with the spaghetti. Now let's go on to this catfish. We are basically going to start off by making the type of fish fry you sometimes buy in the store. All right. So I'm putting a cup of corn flour and about a fourth of a cup of flour, half of a tablespoon of baking powder with my salt-free Cajun seasoning one tablespoon don't even be saying it's too much salt it's salt free honey i have a teaspoon of garlic and i have a half of a tablespoon of this tony's so that's going to give it a great flavor and then about a teaspoon of salt you could even double this and put some of this to the side if you fry fish a lot because that way you don't have to make it up new every time this is a delicious fish fry i promise you I'm then going to take my five catfish fillets and I'm going to lightly season them, honey, lightly, okay, with a little bit of Tony's and my salt-free lemon pepper. This is the best lemon pepper I have had and I get it from Amazon. I'll link it below. You don't want to put too much because you know that fish fry already got a little salt. Okay, now if you've been enjoying this recipe so far, please go ahead and give me the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because I do post recipes weekly. Also, let me know in the comments what you typically eat with your catfish. Okay, are you on the hush puppy thing? Is you on the potato salad thing? You know, what do you usually do? Okay, now I am going to crack three eggs as well as put in about a tablespoon of mustard and about two tablespoons of hot sauce for my wet batter. If yours ends up being too thick, just add a little bit of milk, okay, and you can add that. And this is what I'm going to put the catfish in before I dip it into my fish fry. Now that everything is prepped, I'm going to go ahead and dip my catfish fillets into my egg mixture. You want to make sure it is coated well or else that fish fry is not going to stick, but you do want to drip off the excess. Then I'm going to go ahead and place it in my cornmeal mixture. And again, I'm going to pack it on, but then I'm going to shake off the excess because all that extra stuff that you leave on the fish just ends up falling into your grease and making your grease dirty up quicker. So you really don't want all of that excess. In the comments, please leave me a recipe request. I do try to make my subscribers requests, so let me know what other meals you would like to see. I've had my cast iron skillet heating with my grease on medium heat, and I'm going to go ahead and put in my catfish fillets. Now, to get a really nice color, I actually like to use a little bit of grease that I've already used, and I also mix it with new grease, and that's exactly what I've done here. I have um, cooked it on one side for about three minutes until it is nice and golden and then I'm going to flip it and I'm going to cook it on the other side for about three minutes as well. And whoo baby 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 I wish you could taste this. I wish you could smell this. This catfish is super delicious. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. And honey I am going to go in between batches and I am going to fetch out some of the crumbs those crumbs start to burn and they affect the flavor of your oil and they affect the flavor of your fish so just snatch out the big ones that you can get i let my oil come back up to temperature and then of course i'm just going to fry the rest i'm only doing five fillets today so this was all fried up in no time i put my catfish on the side on a wire wire rack because um if you put on that paper towel it's going to get soggy so you don't want to do that and baby baby you got yourself some delicious fish meal you got a fish friday honey i hope you know that i love you and jesus loves you god bless you and i pray that you are doing well and i'm gonna see you next time in Kamir's kitchen mm -hmm. i know you'll be there goodbye